Hey guys, I'm a fun guy today. All puns intended. So hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making this little DIY mushroom hat. Um, I did a very poor job at explaining some things in here, so please excuse me on that. And I really hope that this actually turns out all right. I mean, some people are gonna complain that it's not perfectly circular, that it's not, I mean, look at it. It's a mushroom. It's not supposed to be perfect. Mushrooms are not perfect in the wild anyways. I mean, some of them are, they are like, the, the queens and kings and queens of like mushroom palace whatever and today we are just going to be making a fun DIY mushroom beret like this dude so you can be a fun guy too now I'm gonna break this down a little bit um, this is actually what the inside looks like not very pretty at all <laughs> but if you look on this side it's kind of pretty I mean it has some white spots that are all like mushroom like but no mushrooms are the same, so we're just gonna stick with that. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the chase and you can check it out right now. All right, so for this part, what I did was I laid the fabric over my hat and it was just like some old jacket that I just never wore. So I figured this would be the best bet to get like a red little cap going for the mushroom. And as you can tell, I should have went a little bit bigger than the hat itself. Otherwise it won't fit, which it clearly did not. But that's okay we'll go over that later so i cut open this tutu fabric underneath the dress and most of the time i get my fabric from people that just don't want their clothes anymore so they just give it to me and i use it as scraps and the white fabric is actually a very stretchy material so it'll have like that scrunchy fold effect like you would see underneath a mushroom and i just kind of went around the pattern just to see where i was going to be sewing and here you see me using pins just to kind of fold everything in place. This took forever, but it looks amazing in the end. And I will say if you want like a perfect circular mushroom hat, get like a metal ring or some kind of like pipe cleaners or like those things that you use for crafts like as a kid that have like the little fuzzy thing on it and just wrap a circle because it works so much better. And so with the fabric, you just want to make sure that it's a little bit bigger than the hat that you're using. So you can use it to like stretch over the top, but we will cut open the middle in just a few frames ahead here. As you can tell, this takes forever just trying to get everything in place. And don't worry, this will speed up in a little bit. Um, what you want to do is just make sure everything is neatly tucked under. And I always do like the double fold method, which means you just roll it so it's not going to have any kind of seam. So here you can see me sewing with the awesome Viking sewing machine. It works wonders. It's heavy as hell, but it gets the job done. Um, I will say that it does have a hard time working with any kind of stretchy material. So just be really careful on this part and kind of adjust your settings as needed. I just have like a very tight stitch on this because I wanted everything to be uniform and closely fitted together. And now I'm just taking some elastic string, measuring my head just to make sure like I got the right dimensions and how I want this to fit. I didn't want it to fit super tight, just kind of wanted it to fit super s perfectly snug. And here is the tutu fabric. I just kind of pinned everything in place and then I sewed everything together and just kind of did a double fold on that as well. And I also kind of scrunched the tutu fabric so it's not flat when you see it. It's very scrunched in so it has like those folds that you would see on a mushroom and just kind of giving it that somewhat realistic effect even though it's not real. It's just a little detail that is actually kind of unique to the piece so I figured this would be a good idea just to kind of add that little extra touch. And then these were like the most pain in the butt things in the world ever. You don't, I could have done this in so many different ways, but instead I hand stitched everything. So here I'm just pinning these down. And if I showed this at the beginning, I would have just done white circles before I even sewed everything else. Just white circles on red fabric. That's it. So here I was sewing away and this material is super stretchy. So I had to be very careful on how much tension I was using 
and I just wanted to make sure this was like neat and perfect, but it didn't turn out perfect <laughs> um, according to my brain, but it's perfect in the sense that I'm happy with it. So no complaints there at all or no complaints. Yeah, no complaints at all whatsoever. It was a fun learning process. I'm really happy I got to do this though. It was nice to actually do something a little different and out of the box and I figured this would be a good idea, so it'll be fun for other cosplay projects, so I'm just going to put this away, maybe for Toad or something, even though Toad doesn't really have like the same pattern. Then I went in with zip ties and zip ties with a little bit of electric tape just to kind of hold everything in place. It's not perfectly circular, but it was doing the job accordingly and what I needed, so I just kind of tucked everything in there got a good layout and how much I needed, and just grabbed more of the uh, zip ties just so everything worked in place. And then of course I would duct tape everything just so it's not falling apart. Like always cut those little tips out too so it's not poking anything whatsoever. But you can tell there's like the base of it. It looks super awesome that it was holding there. But I also did sew in later in some of these zip ties so they can actually stay to the brim and it would not cave in. And here you can see me with the electric tape, just kind of making sure all of the knobs and ends do not snap in or anything. So this was kind of like the bone structure of how I framed it. Other people use cardboard. And I probably could have done that method, but I didn't have like any cereal boxes whatsoever to kind of like use as flimsy cardboard. Or like a perfect frame, I guess you, you could say for that. And this process does kind of take a while. Like this took me two to three days just to make because I was kind of fighting with the sewing machine trying to get that thing to work right but finally got it and I don't usually sew up the edges but wait here is the finished result of the frame and then I'm just going to stuff it inside and like I said later on I will just sew in the edges like you will see on the frame but that is what it looks like you get to see the back and the front and it looks amazing with the little lights in the background and can't wait to do some more shoots with this. It'd be awesome. So I'm pretty much happy on how it turned out, but it could have been a little bit better because I could have had like a round ring on the inside that actually matched the sizing of this hat. And I originally was going to have my oversized hat stuffed into the mushroom cap, so it's kind of like an overlay. So if I wanted to have a mushroom hat, I could just stretch it over the top of my original. And I figured that would be a good idea until I realized I cut the fabric a little too short and it was kind of a big, uh-oh, I shouldn't have done that and I should have like made the fabric like design a little bit bigger considering like the stretching over the top of the hat and realizing that it like would not fit in there. So it was just like this ridiculous amount of why did I do that? I should have just drawn it out and had a design ready to go. But rushing me decided to go a little bit fast on that. In the end, it worked out. It's just another little fun cosplay hat that I'll just use for cosplay purposes or like just for fun. And I figured this would be best to kind of just show you guys like what my process was. Yes, there are some things that like are not described perfectly or not described um, accurately because I was doing this on the fly, doing it on the wing. So it's just kind of like made up. All right, I just want to get a mushroom hat. Let's just make it. And this is the results. It looks like a cute little beret stretchy thing. Um, would I wear this out in public? Maybe. Depending on the day. Like sometimes I feel the crafts that I make are not always everyday planning wear, but it's 2021. Everyone's gonna just, they're gonna be okay with the mushroom walking around like a fun guy that I am. So, all right, I'm happy with this. Let's just go with it. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys Good.